let's start solving this problem. It's a pretty nice problem where you will use your um, understanding of uh, moles and molar mass to determine uh, the molecular formula of this compound that you synthesized. Now, let's go for the video. So, we know we have a mass of bismuth of 4.870 uh, grams, right? And for your convenience, I put here the molar mass of bismuth, which is 208.98 grams per mole. That will be useful later. So we, we heat up the bismuth, okay? So bismuth metal, we heat it up in a crucible, okay? And we form bismuth oxide. Okay, so this notation X and Y is to note the fact that we don't know what these stoichiometric amounts are. Okay, just a simple mathematical expression. And we know that the final mass that we get of this bismuth oxide unknown, 5.428 grams. So we can assume that the difference, 5.24, 5.428 grams and the initial mass of bismuth is the math, mass of oxygen. Okay, so then we compute the mass of oxygen to be 0. 0.558. Again, remember significant figures in units. Um, you want to be wary about significant figures, especially uh, for your final. Um, for your final value, okay? All the intermediates and values in between, you can keep as many as you want, okay? So these are the grams of oxygens, oxygen. Um, now we can measure the moles of bismuth, okay? We have 4.870 grams of bismuth. We divide that by the molar mass, which I showed you early. We get 0 0.0233 moles of the same for oxygen. We have 0. 0.558 grams of oxygen divided by 15.99 grams per one mole of oxygen, and we get 0. 0.03489 moles of um, oxygen. This is the notation I was mentioning earlier. Uh, since we don't really care about significant figures in between, we can use this um, subset to denote one more or two more. Uh, values that we want. Okay, so uh, we divide both of these by the lowest number. So in that case, it will be uh, the most of bismuth. And we get, of course, bismuth 1 and oxygen 1.5. We in chemistry rarely, actually never have um, stoichiometric amounts that are not integers, okay, or subscripts that are not integers or superscripts that are not integer. And so we're going to have, we're going to multiply this by two, and we're going to have bismuth two and three, so that bismuth, that bismuth trioxide. And you see this, that this won't have an effect on the final, um, on the final uh, result. So what we do next is we compute the molar mass of this uh, by bismuth trioxide to be 465.93 grams per mole, okay? And we calculate the ratio, okay, of the value given, 930, over this one that we calculated. And we saw that the ratio is around 2. So the actual molecular mass would be bismuth 4 oxygen right? If you didn't multiply this by 2 to make it an integer, what you would have gotten is a molar mass for this one that was half of this, okay? And so your value here would have been four, and you would have gotten exactly the same thing. Thank you for watching.